Men are owed a global apology. You see, we were sold this lie as women. What happened to men pursuing girls? What happened? Why aren't men pursuing women anymore? Honestly, I don't know why women keep asking this question over and over. But let's see if we can try and explain it to them one more time. But let's be honest, though. The answers we're giving them are going to go in one ear and right out the other because the reality is they don't really want to know what men actually think. They just want men to validate what they think is the reason, even though it's completely wrong. So why are men not approaching women anymore? Well, to quote an old guy from a few hundred years ago, let me count the ways. And I'm going to give you the three biggest reasons why men have stopped approaching. Number one because there's nothing to be gained in doing so. Sorry, ladies, but men have figured out that while you think you can have all the insane expectations in the world, you know, like if he isn't six feet tall with six-pack abs and a six-figure income, you also tell us that if men have even the slightest of expectations, hell any at all, then we're controlling, manipulative, and abusive. The expectation in today's relationships is that they're a one-way street where men give, 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 and get nothing in return. Thanks, but no thanks. Number two, because it's not safe to approach women anymore. The risk to being in the vicinity of a woman or a group of women, let alone approaching one, is simply too great. False allegations are rampant at work, at school, in the home, literally anywhere in today's society. Women have weaponized Me Too and are using it to get back at men for even the slightest of reasons, knowing not only will they be believed, even when it's been proven beyond a doubt that they're lying, but that they'll get a ton of sympathy for the trauma they faced. Approaching a woman nowadays isn't just taking the risk of getting mocked, made fun of, or told to go away, incel. It carries the very real risk of arrest, prison, and having your life destroyed. Ask yourselves, ladies, would you be willing to take that risk, knowing that if you just happen to pick the wrong person to approach, they'll destroy your life just because they can? Yeah, I didn't think so. And finally, number three, the biggest and best reason of all, you told us not to, ladies. You've made it abundantly clear you don't want us, don't need us, and most importantly, don't want us approaching you. So while you may think we men aren't listening, aren't paying attention, we heard you loud and clear, and we men are giving you exactly what you want, which begs the question, why, for the love of God, do you keep asking these same questions over and over? Wow, 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 wow. Now, I think we can all agree that women online are generally more toxic than women in real life now gentlemen i would like to hear from you personally i was told since i was a kid that i should never pay attention to what a woman says i know women talk a lot of nonsense online don't approach us you're a creep if you do in your own personal life are women actually telling you that i want to hear from you also i do walk around I see a lot of short dudes with girlfriends, you know. I see fat dudes with girlfriends. I see ugly dudes with girlfriends, you know. So even though women are saying all this nonsense, are they actually doing that in real life? Now, I know some are. In fact, a lot are. A lot of women definitely have very, very high standards. But I have to acknowledge the fact that I do see other women with just average looking dudes. And a lot of times, the women are actually quite pretty, you know, with just average looking dudes. And sometimes the dude ain't even rich, you know? Now, if women are rejecting you because you're broke, you cannot blame a woman for rejecting you for being broke because I wouldn't want my daughter or my sister dating a broke dude with no ambition. I wouldn't want that for them. So, you have to get your money right. But now, if you're a gentleman and you, you have your money right, you know, maybe you do work out, you may not be in the best of shape, but you're just in decent shape. Are women actually rejecting you? And also, how much of an effort are you putting out there? Because believe me, even for the hot-looking guys, they also get rejected. 
everybody gets rejected all right it's not just the short ugly guys women sometimes they reject you even when they like you women are weird right don't try to understand them it's a waste of time but i want to hear from you guys if the stuff you see on the internet is actually happening in your individual lives little bumble update um i was supposed to have a date tonight um so we're supposed to meet here at a restaurant 7 30. um it was gonna be a first date the guy like pursued me of course and we chatted probably we've chatted probably for like four days and like yesterday he was like hey can i have your number let's talk off of here and i was like sure let's do it and so we did and so he's texted me like being consistent and he was like so when am i gonna be able to take your you know pretty butt on a date and i was just like well um i'm free like anytime in the evenings like after six like i work you know and on the weekends after six i work on the weekends too and so he was like okay well i don't have any plans tonight what about tonight is that too early like and i was like no i was like i don't have any plans either and he's like well would you want to go you know grab a drink go to dinner what would you want to do something and i was like yeah i would love that i was like i'll be free like we can meet somewhere i can meet you at 7 30 somewhere okay where do you want to go you just pick a restaurant and like i'll meet you there I'll, and he did love that um so he you know we text like up until about 6 30 and so at like 6 40 i was like hey i was like it'll be 15 minutes and i'll be you know leaving it takes me about 15 to get there nothing so i was like okay cool um so then i text him at seven when i was leaving i was like hey you know um i'm on my way nothing so then i get to the restaurant and it's about 7 20 and i'm not early for anything like we're supposed to be at 7 30 i'm normally here right at 7 30 but i was early and so i call him so i was like well maybe he's driving i don't know how far it takes him um he just whatever call him and no answer so i looked i was like he hadn't blocked me because my texts are still going through he hasn't blocked me on the app so like whatever um so it is now 7 52 and we're supposed to be at 7 30 and i've heard nothing from him so um this sucks like why waste my time because i stopped working early so i could leave get home get ready like you pursued me like why <laughs> why waste my fucking time like that's what pisses me off about dating in this world is like be a damn adult and like cancel like if you or don't even pursue me like there's like don't waste my time um it's very frustrating um just to be like like I've wasted my time, wasted makeup, you know, to come here, wasted gas, and then just for you to not show up when all you had to do was, oh, I don't know, not talk to me or just not ask me out. Like, what's the purpose of it? But here we are again, fourth time. Cool. Cool. I have had multiple men in my adult purpose of it, but here we are again, fourth time. Cool. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let me get this straight. So, you met a man on the internet and he asked you, when are you available? And you said, you are free anytime. Secondly, you take off from work. You close work early just so you could go home, go get ready and meet a man. Women only do that for high value men for men that they believe are better than them, for men that they think are a catch. Right there is your problem because yes, you may have found this man attractive, but guess what? Other women did too. So while this man was talking with you, he was definitely talking to other women, probably more beautiful than you. And so he probably went with the other woman. And let's get this one out of the way you are probably around the age of 40. at the age of 40 you really should not be out there on bumble trying to get dates with men you should probably be married with kids and this is especially for the ladies i hope you all are saying this because i can tell you women around the age of 40 men are not very very nice to them in the dating world because when you're around the age of 40 and you're single and you're on bumble men automatically assume that you trash they really do 
and it doesn't matter if the men are right or wrong but that's what men think men are looking at you and they are thinking wow this girl is around 40 she's still out there on bumble she's had a chance to meet so many men none of them kept her as a wife or even a girlfriend why should i you know what i'm just gonna have sex with her and then i'll move on to the next girl and that is how you keep getting passed around from one man to the next because i'm telling you ladies over the age of 30 and especially when you are pushing 40 men just start becoming meaner and meaner towards you and you will see a lot of women coming out saying where are all the good men you know because they are no longer being treated the way they used to be treated 10 15 years ago when they were still younger and a lot hotter because right now men simply don't find you attractive i'm just gonna say the way it is you know so they're just mean to you they don't care right yeah i have had multiple men in my adult life ask me the same question megan you seem great you seem awesome how come you've never had a boyfriend oh Please look at her face. <laughs> there, this woman, I can already tell that she's weird. She's weird. Wow. Yeah, that's a red flag. Okay. You probably look like you are around 40, maybe more, maybe 40, maybe 45. I don't know, but that's definitely a red flag. Let's keep it going. How am I supposed to answer that? Because yeah, I am great. I am awesome. But it's like when you go to a job interview and they're like, what experience do you have? And you're like, well, actually, this is going to be my first job, but like, I'm really prepared for it. I've, I went to college. I got all the classes done. Like, I know exactly what this job needs from me. Um, but they're like, but you've never had experience. You've never done this job before. <laughs> and they don't hire you. That's how I currently feel because again, multiple men in my adult life who I have talked to have asked me that question and I say the same thing back like I I don't know <laughs> because I do feel like I'm prepared for this I am not hiding anything from you guys there's not some weird skeleton in my closet no human skeletons <laughs> And I know without a shadow of a doubt in my heart that there's going to be some keyboard warrior who looks at me and he says, you know the reason. You know the reason. It's because you're fat. You know the reason. Honey, I know. I have a mirror. Uh, but plenty, plenty of plentiful people find love. So shut it. Anyway. <laughs> And with this whole shoot my shot series that I've been doing on TikTok, by the way, sorry there have been no updates, but really there ha there have been no updates. Sorry, sorry. Um, but a lot of you guys in my comments have been like, Megan, how are you single? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And I know that this path is not a um, is not an abnormal one for a lot of people. I know that there are a lot of people who are my age, older or younger, who have never had a boyfriend or a significant other. Uh, so I know that I'm not alone in this, but at what point, at what point am I not gonna be alone in this life? <laughs> I don't know if I have a point to this video. I'm just upset. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I am a catch. <laughs> I know it. You know it. I just need one man. I just need one man to know. And not just to know it, but like to follow through on it. Like, where's the follow through, people? Yeah, this woman. She's definitely funny. She's definitely funny. And she, she's weird. She's weird. Look at those eyes. Stop going after men who are fit, you know, who look better than you, who are in shape. Because let me tell you something, those men, they're gonna pump you and you will never hear from them again and a lot of those men they gravitate unfortunately and i hate to say it but i have to say it a lot of these men they gravitate towards fat women when they are having or they are going through a dry spell all right so that's when the women they actually want they are not giving them the time of the day but these men still need to have sex so they start gravitating towards women like you who are bigger who are easier 
they're gonna have sex with you they'll blow your back out but as soon as the woman they like is actually available you will never hear from them again so perhaps start giving fat dudes a chance all right i want to talk about the dating in new york because it fucking sucks like every single situation ship and like thing that i've been in has gone so left and i'm like is it me like what did i do and i sit here and i reflect and it's like i give so much like i hate it that i'm such like a lover girl even though i don't really like look like it like when i love i love so hard and like oh god and it's like every situation ship that i've been in i'm like and it just goes left i'm like what did i is it me like what did i do and it's just like like i don't know like i'm so over it like i don't want to do the dating apps anymore like i'm done with dating like before I met you, I was at peace. And then I met you and we hung out and like did the thing. And it was so good and I was so happy and I was so comfortable and like everything was great. And then it goes left and it's like, you deserve, like disturbed my peace, you know? Like, I'm just like so done. Every time I give it another try and I end up like, really finding a connection with someone something ends up happening and I always think that like I'm the one who fucked it up and I'm like like ugh. like I swear to god the rate that this is going I'm like I'm I'm just I just give up like I, t I totally give up I throw like I'm done I surrender like I'm just going to accept the fact that I want to be alone for the rest of my life because I'm never going to find my person because every time I do and every time I think I found someone I didn't and they end up just like they end up just like just just like leaving and I'm like what happened and I know this is like so cringe of me because I First of all, I hate crying, especially in front of people, because I don't want to show my weakness and vulnerability. But at the same time, I'm like, if somebody else has to relate to this, because what the fuck, actually? So now I'm here, trying to enjoy the holiday with my family. My stepdad was nice enough to make me a super fucking stiff drink. So I can't breathe for a second. It just relax but yeah how's your sunday now looking at this woman it's kind of obvious she is a chat chaser there is no doubt about it i mean she's a let's take a good look at her she's a pretty woman okay she's a pretty woman how about i tell you what she mentioned that she is always in situationships she never mentioned relationships all right so it tells me that you are not as great as you think you are or at least the men don't think you are that great okay she is definitely going for those top five percent one percent dudes you know trying to get those guys to commit to her and those guys probably have like five ten other women and she is definitely not on the top of the list and that is why she always finds herself in situationships because men just won't commit to her now secondly you just mentioned that you don't like to cry but just the fact that you are talking about this on tiktok is a huge red flag because if i'm a man and i'm in a situation with a girl and then i go through her tiktok and i see her she's always talking about her personal life her dating life on tiktok for me i see potential future problems that i would not want to deal with and I probably will not take her seriously after that. Men are owed a global apology. You see, we were sold this lie as women 
that we could have the most perfect man and we could have everything we've ever wanted and all our desires and dreams would come true. But it really was an illusion. It really was false. And what it's done for women is it's kept them single because the agenda of it was to remove the woman from the home and to stop the man wanting to return to it. So my global apology to men is that I'm sorry that I always thought I knew more and I'm sorry that I didn't let you lead. And I'm sorry that because of that, you would have never felt good enough. And that's simply not true. You are good enough and we do appreciate you and we do love you so much. And I'm sorry that those actions of mine made you feel like you weren't enough. The truth was that I didn't feel like I was enough and I was projecting that onto you and you didn't deserve that. So that's my global apology to all men. Ladies, use the comment section below. What is your apologies? What do you wanna say sorry for? What is your global apology to men? A global apology from women to men? Nah, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. It ain't never gonna happen, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna forget about that one comment section men fall in love with the person women fall in love with the benefits provided by the man totally different for the most part i agree with you that is true but i must say there are women out there that do fall in love with the person i have to call that out okay not all women are bad all right there are good women out there next comment they all passed on me now i pass on them the circle of life why not why not next comment says enjoy the best ladies grizzle grizzle yes <laughs> ladies enjoy the best so the comment says your words mean nothing apology not accepted <laughs> well I kind of agree with him. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm not going to waste my time. Women ain't never going to do it. So yeah, let's keep it going. Next comment says, have to disagree with you. Not afraid of women. Just not what the drama. Absolutely. Next comment says, keep ghosting them kings. Stay toxic. Drizzle. Drizzle. Uh, look, look, I, 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 I don't know. This comment here got 292 likes. And that is not the goal of this channel, you know me i believe there are good women out there and i want men to go out there and find these women okay i'm not saying get married to them but i believe you can have a long-term relationship with a good woman without marrying her so the comment is why don't men want to be our wallets gold digging three or fours yes definitely true a lot of women are definitely gold digging three or fours no doubt about it the next comment says, we were sold these lies. <laughs> yep, now it's too late. Look, women eventually learn, all right? They always learn eventually because they are smart, all right? The problem is they leave it too late, all right? When they're in their 30s and sometimes 40s, even 50s, which is just absolutely crazy because at that point, no man is really interested in you. Yep. So the comment says, anyone who says I'm great, I'm awesome, is a narcissist. Juan. Yes, this other man says, I went McDo 20 years ago. Wow. He's definitely an OG. For simple reasons, I had a couple of three to four year relationships. I know what it's like to live with a woman. Some things I didn't like was they are so selfish. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of selfish women out there. So the comment says, indifference or repulsion isn't fear. It's a basic cost-benefit analysis and you are simply not worthy. Damn. That's kind of harsh, you know, that's kind of harsh. Look, this comment section is kind of really, really negative. Well, I guess that's how men feel, right? So that's how men feel. So I kind of understand why I understand, you know, but we got to be more positive dudes we have to be more positive you know because the bottom line is men want women women want men so we have to find a solution to fix this because if we don't find a solution wow i don't know what the future is gonna be like you know anyways gentlemen and ladies thank you for watching i appreciate you i love you all thank you for tuning in and 
I will see you soon.